Hi everyone, in this problem we have a region bounded by these graphs and we have to rotate it about the y-axis and then find the volume of the resulting solid using something called the shell method. So let's go ahead and do a rough sketch of this region. So x equals 0 is just the y-axis, it's a vertical line. Um, y equals the square root of x looks something like this. Then it keeps going for a while. However, we need, to, we need to stop at 1, because x equals 1 is a vertical line, and then y equals 0 is this horizontal line here. So we have this, this region here, and we're spinning it about the y-axis. Okay, so we're using something called the shell method. So in the shell method, the rectangles are always parallel to the axis of revolution. So when you draw your rectangle, it should be parallel. This is very convenient because now we have a vertical rectangle. Whenever you have a vertical rectangle, you always have functions of x. In the shell method, there are two things that should be identified. The first one is h of x, which is the length of the rectangle or height of the rectangle. The other one is p of x. p of x is the distance from the axis of revolution to the skinny part of the rectangle. So in this case, h of x is simply the square root of x. That's because this function here is the square root of x. p of x will vary as we integrate with respect to x, and this distance here is simply x. So p of x is just x. So now we can set up the integral that will give us the volume. So the volume is equal to 2 pi, because shell has the 2 pi, we're going from 0 to 1, left to right, integrating with respect to x. And it's p times h. So it's x times the square root of x dx. So this is the integral that will give us the volume. Let's go ahead and rewrite this. So the volume is equal to, so think of the square root of x as x to the 1 half. So when you multiply it by x to the 1, we'll add the exponents. So this will be 2 pi times the definite integral from 0 to 1. So 1 plus 1 half will give us x to the 3 halves dx. Now we'll go ahead and integrate. So this is 2 pi using the power rule. So 3 halves plus 1 is really 3 halves plus 2 halves, which is 5 halves. So we get x to the 5 halves and when we divide by 5 halves, we really multiply by 2 fifths. And we're going from 0 to 1. So this is equal to 4 fifths pi x to the 5 halves, just rewriting it one more time for clarity, from 0 to 1. So we plug in the 1, so we get 4 fifths pi times 1 to the 5 halves minus 4 fifths pi times 0 to the 5 halves. But z this is just 0, so and 1 to the 5 halves is 1, so we just get 4 fifths pi. And that would be the volume and the final answer. I hope this video has been helpful.